Guys, welcome to another episode of the Gas Mask Guys. And today with us we have is our Australian edition gas masks. We're going to go over the S10 today. So, pretty cool what I brought in. We've got all the different types of filters that were used by the Australian Defense Force. We have uh, one tanker model gas mask, which we have here. We have one cadet mask, which is here. Well, this is a spare, what's left over after they cannibalized it. And here is a current issue, Australian gas mask. Well, recently obsoleted. Uh, nowadays, we are coming up with more designs. Uh, this one actually is not obsolete. We'll go into it later, but they allowed me to buy it. So you can find them in surplus stores, eBay, etc. But the reason why I'm doing this video is I've noticed that on eBay, there's a lot of S10s that are actually Australian gas masks being sold as British gas masks. So I'm just uh, informing you guys just to make sure you guys know what is an Australian gas mask and what isn't an Australian gas mask. So without further ado, uh, let's we'll start off with the filters today. Now, uh, main thing I want to bring up with the filters is we've mostly picked up exactly what the British have used. Um, as you can see here, we've got your... Uh, these are the current issue ones here. This one they don't use anymore. But the marking. So when we first adopted the plastic design... We first up, this is the PS10 uh, gas mask filter. As you can see, exact same design. This was one of the first ones to involve this future, uh, sorry, the uh, modern design. Looks like a fan almost. Next up, we have the barcode. Barcodes came in the 90s, and we still use these today, uh, depending on the expiry date. The reason why it has a barcode is so it can be scanned to check the date. Um, we do this at logistic stores to make sure the filters are still good before they're issued. As for this one, these are the NATO version, and this is still used too. As you can see, it's made in the UK. All of our filters are made in the UK. None are made in Australia. As you can see, it says its date, etc. This one was made in 2007, as I can see here. So yeah, this one's uh, fairly new. And in addition to this, when we first purchased the S10 gas mask from England, we came out with this filter. As you can see, almost exact same markings as the British counterpart. These filters are also used on the S10. And, yeah. In addition to this, there was another filter Australia did use with the S10. I do not have it. Uh, it apparently contained asbestos. Asbestos, but I do not know. Um, I do not have it. I'll grab you guys a picture someday, but it was used with the S6 as well. So, yeah, pretty cool. So next up, we'll go to, into the uh, back harnesses. Now, this one's the most confusing one for a lot of people. How do I how do I know if my gas mask is British or Australian? Ah, uh, this this is the hard bit because Australia, when we first adopted the S10 gas mask um, or the S10 respirator. We used the rubber back strap for a few years. We did actually use them for a very short time, though. We, As soon as we started using them, we realized that it would be too hot for the environment, and we, uh, we started looking into newer designs. So while we were looking for a new design, we basically copied the American uh, back strap that is currently still used today, and we attached it to the S10. As you can see, um, this one's the tanker mask from the 80s and 90s. And, um, as you can see, there's the back strap. Almost like the American, but it has the Australian uh, serials. Here, you'll either see a serial number, or it'll be blank, or there might be a broadsided arrow. Uh, staying that it's Commonwealth made. So yeah, pretty cool. That's the, um, that's the earlier uh, variant. You'll see plenty of S10s around with this uh, on the back of it. Special Forces were the first to adopt it. And then everyone else adopted it soon afterwards. Though, quickly, uh, by the 90s, I believe, or by the early 2000s, we came up with this design. Um, the FM-12 backstrap type. Um, as you see, it's made of mesh, very comfortable to wear. Um, and it, it is the by far the most comfortable harness out of the S10 uh, series. I would, highly su I would highly suggest that for... Um, Australian usage because I did do a, uh, a field testing video a while back. I don't know if you guys remember it, and we tested the rubber backing and it was horrible.